Yeah, yeah. Uh, Who's called Chris? Uh, red or green? green. Green. Service who? Zhang Yena. Okay. And changing is Okay. This side?
Jones has got to be a sky high arm, hasn't it? Jane, you know, at the moment, but she's <laughs> she's got to feel like she's uh, an unbeatable force out there. This, the, these courts belong to her. Seven matches, seven wins. Yeah, I, I've been quite impressed by the Koreans' doubles players uh, this week, except for the number one seed in men's doubles, Lee Young Day and Kusum Pyeon. <laughs> as well in Zhang Nan in the Olympics. But it's promising for the match, isn't it, itself, that the first exchanges have really been won by good shots rather than mistakes. Yeah, excellent rallies. Interesting to see if we can pick something up regarding the drift. I mean, it's been pretty stable throughout the week, but now we're down to only one court here, so at least we can see the Koreans are playing a bit short. Good save. Very good, yeah. Beyond that. Start if I remember rightly yesterday against Mao Jin and Han Jinhua, but came through comfortably 21 17 in both games. Played against. Yeah, you don't really know what's coming. Whereas, uh, yeah. ah! <laughs> the earlier matches in the tournament, no doubt about that. But um, just figuring out what are they actually going to do when they play us as a combination. It's always different than seeing players or pairs against other players. You preferably want to see a video of your own matches against. Chen Chen is the only player that playing mixed up. Basis. Uh, that could indicate that she prefers to be on the back of the court, knowing that Zhao Yun Lei is such a fantastic net Uh, up 
there, not near the top, but uh, warming up nicely. Yeah, the good thing about Joan Lee is that she places her shots so that it's almost impossible to get out of the grip. Immediately <laughs> followed Five. by a bit of a mistake here. were these two from China losing to Wanganu. That's just fine. Seven, seven. These players are normally so good at catching when the shuttle is out. That it's very rarely that it's inside the lines when they didn't fall. A little question for you is we're at seven all early stages. Which match are you looking forward to most today? I think actually I'm, I'm looking most forward to the Singles between uh, Rachana Gintzman and PV Sindhu. Snap. Great talent. And, uh, uh, Sindhu securing the first female medal at the Worlds for India and uh, Rachina finally getting a medal. She was in the final of the All England and lost out there. A bit um, affected by the situation the way I saw it. Same with the Olympics. It'll be interesting to see what you can do now. see that, that when they play their lift too short and, and sh they did here because Chen Chen didn't have a foot in uh, behind the, the doubles line and they're in real trouble because the Chinese are really skilled and they're also very very physical strong and I think perhaps that could be the deciding factor that they seem to be a bit stronger than the Koreans hits a bit harder course they've got so the best all-round female doubles Nine. player in the team, Zhao Yongle. I'm not sure she's the best women's doubles player, but overall there's no doubt that if you look at both 
both mixed and playing doubles. She's the world's best player right now. But they can be a little bit shaky. We saw it in the earlier stages of the Olympics where they lost out to Camilla Yule and Christina Pedersen. And that's something that separates them a bit from uh, Wang and Yu because they're very clinical when they play non-Chinese pairings. Good shot placement there. with a, a healthy advantage at the interval in this first game being a pretty tight affair and some nice badminton involved by all as well but it's 11-8 to Yonghee one and uh, Zhang Jihin now long way to go though in this one yeah Chinese combination because I think they will get some advice from the coaches. They've probably been. Some points where the Chinese played really well. You can see quite a bit of attack from the backhand side of the Chinese pair. Straight smashes. Go for the interception of the net. Eleven and play. Too short again. Ah! And I can understand that uh, Xing Chen. A little bit uncertain because it's much longer than the other lifts. You know, she broke a racket, as you say, to go a racket as well. I gotta say, I understand why they made like that, but that's still the obvious. stage of the tournament all the players should have adapted to the conditions. Isn't it? 14 9. Very good start for the Koreans. They're playing clever shots. Um, both players seem to have a very good eye for the detective part of ladies' doubles. Clearly the best uh, 15, nine. position for the Koreans is uh, Jang at the backcourt and Yom at the net. She's been a bit hesitant at times, isn't Tian Jing here? Uh, and ten of these uh, opening points here. Just a little unsure of herself. Sides 
again from try to increase the pace of the game, but um, Koreans are playing a clever game right now. designated court mothers today. Just one on court one who are watching the replay. Yeah, so the line judges don't have to come on that. That's a good thing. as well. It's so important when you're playing up against the wind as the Koreans do right now that you get the correct length of the lifts.
defense. They want to complicate things, play soft shots, flat shots. Here. 2016 up. to the good. to do, haven't they, over that little interval. Tian Ching and Xiao Yunlei. I'm sure they were pretty confident coming into this match. But right now, the confidence is with these two. And what do you make about oh, the ends they're at now as well? Does that make any difference at all, Steve? Um, at least it, it sort of 
changes the perspective a bit, the Chinese will have a better chance of putting pressure on the, on the back Second court. Second game, uh, whereas, uh, play. The Koreans, they might get a little bit of help in their attack. This is a drift coming from the Korean side to the Chinese. That's why it to see when, when there was One, a bit of spark no. when they were attacking Zhao Yunlei and Xia Qing that most comfortable yeah definitely I think that the Koreans both have a very good eye for the game and and might have the upper hand there we know that Zhao Yunlei has a really really good eye for the game but as we discussed earlier Xia Qing is not playing the mixed doubles and she's more of a backcourt player so the Chinese should see if they can get the physical game going points here it's still a conversation <laughs> quite rightly trying to get them to, to play on a little quicker but that wasn't out by much though was it yeah. we've seen a number of times that the Chinese are actually targeting Zhang Yin Na in, in, uh, in the attack and that might be because they feel that Yom is playing clever shots, and, and she is. She's playing clever shots. Yeah, the unexpected is coming from her, isn't it? Yeah. Three, one. Interesting comments from uh, Lin Dan after his win yesterday, and obviously he's been asked about, you know, the women's singles going out. And you know, he says there's a kind of an expectancy in China and from the crowds here that, you know, we're going to just sweep all before us and, uh, and, and, you know, win gold after gold. And it's not that simple, you know? Four, one. But it's not easy to live up to expectations sometimes, is it? You know, they've set such high standards. Of course, everybody's always looking what the best players in the world are doing and trying to figure out ways to beat them and one of the ways is to sort of pick up the skills that the best players got and then find something very special of your own you can see the Chinese are playing too short now in defense exactly like the Koreans did in the first game Second game that was desired to end Chicken Shao Yun late. Their uh, battle just goes a little steeper uphill. physical strong as the three other players so you gotta ask yourself why is she there she must be able to do something else she's definitely sure of this today terrific lift to uh, retrieve that net shot as well second you're happy to take a warning to yeah. <laughs> to get the right strategy going <laughs> because otherwise it's 
going totally wrong, but that's why. Explanation from the Korean management. Oh, we've gone long out, even if it went past the net. Yeah, for a player that's played with such finesse as well throughout the match so far. their attack the Chinese players they get counter-attacked every time so perhaps try to block it the first time and be in good positions because if they're not in good position they're very vulnerable to, to the counter-attacks see the Koreans are also getting advice from Li Dong So sensed where it was aimed and what return would be the most likely. That's the true mark of a great net player. And as you said, when you haven't played together for four months, that's pretty good uh, understanding, isn't it? Well, of course, they've been training together quite hard, I would assume. Competitively. Splitting could be that um, as Yomi is such a great net player, she might be stuck in that role playing with uh, Jiang. So putting her together with another player that is also strong at the net would leave her as uh, to do more backcourt work. That could be really uh, an interesting explanation if that could be true. And the other way around for Jiang. pre-olymp or oh, sorry a, a post olympic year and, and that means we want to try out combinations and, and find out what's actually working is it the right ones that we've got or should we mix it up they yeah, won a couple of times in uh, 2012 won back to back the uh, korean open the grand prix gold event and the macau open as well Twenty-one, sixteen, eleven, five. 
And the Koreans here, the golden chance to play for gold tomorrow. Well, in some respect, we're going to see what Tianjin and Zhao Yunlei are made of here, aren't we? Because they've looked a little lost so far in this match. Uh, stuck for ideas. Yeah, and they haven't really been able to uh, get Zhao Yunlei playing where she's best. Koreans have um, sort of outnumbered with the Chinese so far. It's hard to do anything good when you're way below tape. This is a good position. Wow. What a terrific rally. <laughs> we don't see a lot of players challenging Jerry and Lee at the net. Like oh, fantastic. As you say, it wasn't a very great shot of the rally either. She's a young un. She's not been around that long, Leon, but uh, she's been a bit of a star this week. Attack and then the next shot, they were in big, big problems. into an attacking shot. Yeah, I still feel that a block instead of a smash or a softer smash would be a good idea because she's just using, Yum is doing it very, very clever. She's using the power against the Chinese. Giving it back with interest. What a great point. This could be a game changer if the Chinese can win it. Two of her. <laughs> she covers the net so well. She's reading it so well, obviously. Yeah. If they could tighten it up, the Chinese, yeah. that, might, that might come into it. But six-point lead shouldn't really be a factor, should it? They had it in the second yeah. game as well. Not one in the first game, sorry. Chinese, they, they had 
trying to give away the attack in a bad position. So they were countered by the Koreans, and they simply outthink the Chinese. Fascinating set of circumstances we have here. It's been very worrying for the coaches that it seems that Ching Tian is unable to get Zhao Yonglei into the rallies. Chinese, I feel, need to play a little bit more on her because, I mean, they're getting beaten up by this little Korean girl. So you want to see if you can sort of stop the bleeding. Increases their chances of winning points, doesn't it, if they try and direct it towards her. It's uh, easier said than done because they are scampering around the net. Still a long way to go. Oh, so this will call. Well, no time for that to happen as well. As you say, John Lee walked directly to the service judge, and now she's getting corrected by the umpire. She can't do that. She has to ask permission. that gives Korea a 15-9 lead. Maybe a first smack in a bit. Yeah, and you can see she's just swinging her arms and we saw jump before jumping up and down. And I think they're getting a bit tense, the Koreans. so far. Three points in a row before Jang's touch there. Gets Korea back on track.
confusion. Motionless for a good 15 seconds with her hands and her knees too, breathing and as hard as she could. The Koreans weren't really able to uh, make anything happen in the attack there, and that should be one of the things that they should be looking to solve. If the Chinese keep lifting to us, what are we going to do then? be in the uh, Korean shoes but since there's maybe a bit more belief creeping into Zhao Yunlei and Tian Jing now yeah I think they, they've found a way where they can at least prevent the Koreans from scoring points easily so it'll really be the dogfight from here and the Koreans they should be ready to work 100% the rest of this game. Go ahead in this game. 
for the first time. Chang and Young pick up a, a rare latest point. Blocking a lot of the shots instead of smashing Chin Chin. Certainly directing most things at Tian Ching, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, and, and that's a clever thing to do. Him a chance to take this to a third game. I would flick her if I was Chinese. Get her away from the net. And at best, get her to play from her forehand on the back court because the Koreans seem to have troubles finding solutions on attacking in that position. immediately she just have to lift it and play a straight attack defensive game have really had a good grip on uh, Chen Tian in this match. It's almost like a repeat of the first game when they leveled it up. Exactly. It's 17-0. And then the Koreans took four in a row to win the game. Can they do it again?
surviving for now. Services to Ilman Aiwa. Can she finish the game off? She can! <laughs> Champions will not be in the World Championship final because Ong Kai Wan and Jan Yina have knocked them out. Wonderful performance from the Koreans. Ong Kai Wan will be back later. Of course, uh, to take one on one Zhao Yunlei again in the championship, perhaps. Nice. She has a semi final to come. But the women's doubles pair have come through. 21-16, 21-19. And they have the chance to play for gold in tomorrow's final against either Tantoi Ahmad, uh, sorry, against either Yu Yang and Wang Sieli, or the Danes, Christina Pedersen and Camilla Rotuyo. There's no more than they deserve, really. Look at the sheer joy on the face of Jang Yina there and Yom. A1, wonderful display in just under an hour. The Koreans into the final of the women's doubles. singles up next then in the semi-finals as uh, another Olympic champion hopefully for China's sake maybe he comes out better on top here Li Xuwei up against Bei Yunju Li Xuwei even at the age of uh, 22 somewhat of a legend isn't she but uh, one of the major titles she has missing of course is this the World Championship. Our uh, officials uh, are on court. The umpire, based on 